learn that these five verbs do not take the preposition. Lesson 2 about unnecessary use of preposition. Unnecessary use of prepositions. Friends, in this video, we will learn about unnecessary prepositions. As we make prepositional mistakes. We use prepositions where it is not necessary. Some verbs do not take preposition. So in this video, we learn about the unnecessary use of preposition. The first sentence is let us discuss about the problem let us discuss about the problem so uh, this verb do not take the preposition do not take the preposition here this is a this is a preposition we use this preposition unnecessarily no, let us discuss the problem let us discuss the problem so remember this verb do not take any preposition do not take any preposition so remove the verb then which is a, a correct uh, sentence let us discuss the problem let us discuss the problem so this verb do not take any preposition let us discuss the problem the seventh sentence from part one. Part one has 100 questions. Part one has 100 questions. I have planned to teach you 100 spot the error questions. So continue to watch my videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. The name of my channel is Educate and Embellish Your Life. It's the seventh sentence. We will we will consider about your offer. We will consider about your offer. So this is the verb. This this verb will not take the preposition about. Yes, we will consider your offer. This is the correct sentence. We will consider about your offer is incorrect. So grammatically wrong. So you have to spot the error. The error is in the use, unnecessary use of preposition. So that's the reason I have named this lesson as unnecessary preposition. We use prepositions unnecessarily sometimes. So here when you use this verb, do not use the word about. Yes. We will consider about your offer. So for, uh, for your public exam, you you may get this type of a question for spot the error. So you have to remember the lesson. Yes, the unnecessary use of preposition. So we should not use this preposition unnecessarily because this verb do not take any preposition. So the correct answer is we will consider your offer. We will consider your offer. This is the correct sentence. The eighth sentence. We went to home. Very late. We went to home very late. So here, this verb and home, yes, are the clue words. If we have these two words and the preposition, to should not be used. The preposition should, to should not be used. We went home. 
we have this word so home yes then we should not use the word to but we have the word house it is correct yes when to house yes so in front of in front of the word home we should not use the preposition to unnecessarily yes went to home went to, to home is wrong yes we went home we went home we went home very late we went home yes before the word now yes before this word home we should not use the verb to ninth sentence a big snake entered into our house yesterday a big snake entered into our house yesterday entered into our house yesterday so this verb enter enter or enter will not take any preposition will not take any preposition so we should not use the preposition into unnecessarily here in this sentence now we have used this but this particular preposition unnecessarily this verb will not take the preposition into so a big snake entered into our house yesterday is incorrect grammatically so which is a correct sentence a big snake entered our house yesterday a big snake entered our house yesterday this is the correct sentence the 10th sentence in this lesson lesson 2 lesson 2 is on unnecessary use of preposition 10th sentence we will emphasize about the quality customer service is incorrect we will emphasize the quality customer service emphasize the verb emphasize do not take the preposition about here we use the preposition about unnecessarily unnecessary use of preposition let us quickly recall what we have learned so far the sentences from 6 to 10 The lesson two unnecessary use of preposition. We use prepositions unnecessarily sometimes. Yes, discuss about. Discuss about the problem. Discuss about the problem. Discuss the problem. Discuss the problem. So at least you learn these five you no know, words. At least learn that these five verbs do not take the preposition. Yes, discuss about the problem. Discuss the problem. Yes, unnecessary use of preposition about. Consider about your offer. We will consider about your offer. We will consider your offer. Remove the word about. emphasize about the quality quality service we will emphasize the quality customer service we will emphasize about the quality service is incorrect we will emphasize the quality customer service the fourth one entered enter into the house Last night a thief entered into our house. This is incorrect. Yes, we have unnecessarily used the preposition into. So we have to remove. Yes. Enter the house. A big snake entered the house last night. Fifth one. Go to home. So if we have the word go and the word home, then there is no need of the preposition to. 
is go home. Go home is the correct expression. Correct expression. Okay. These expressions okay discuss the verbs do not take. No verbs. These verbs do not take the preposition. Do not take any preposition. Not the noun forms of these uh, verbs. Sometimes discussion about that is correct. No discussion is a noun form of the verb discuss. But discuss about is wrong. Discussion about that is correct. Yes. So remember that verbs do not. Yes. These verbs verb forms. No verbs. These verbs do not take any preposition. We have to discuss. We have to use these verbs without the without using prepositions. We have to use these verbs without using any prepositions. Discuss the problem. Consider your offer. Emphasize the need. Emphasize the quality customer service. Enter the house. Go home. So these are the common errors we make, and these are the common uh, questions. These are the common questions that are repeatedly asked in the public exams under the category "Spot the errors." So I hope this video class of mine under this uh, title "Unnecessary Use of Preposition" will be of great use for all of you. Thank you for watching. Continue to watch my videos and get regular updates on grammar and other vocabularies.